Hey guys, Jason here again from Freeline Sound Labs, and today I'm going to give you a bit of a run through on how to install the NKS library for complete control and machine on the Mac OS system. So there are a few things to just be aware of, uh, so let's get into it and uh, have a look at how it's done. Uh, so first of all, if you need to download any of your previous purchased NKS libraries, uh, if you didn't get the email or you just need to download it again or you've uh, received an update email, all you need to do is go to the website freelancesoundlabs.com and just log in. So up here there'll be a login button. Use your account to log in. Same process if you've forgotten your password, just go through the password recovery. Uh, then once you've uh, logged into the website, you can go to downloads and you can go down to my downloads. Uh, all of the NKS packages that you've purchased in the past will be listed on this page. If you've got one of the old version NKS, what we call the version 1 NKS library releases, uh, these won't have any of the sound preview files uh, as you browse through. You'll find those in this download area here. This is the legacy download area. After things were upgraded, we've now got uh, all of the purchases that you would have made listed on this page. Uh, any um, third-party libraries for any other VSTs will have a, um, a separate link to them as well. Uh, so just simply hover over it, uh, download it. You'll notice that it comes up with $0. Uh, the same thing on any of the product pages. If you've already bought it in the past, it comes up with $0. You can't buy it again. Uh, there's just no need to. So download those packages to your computer, and then we can get started. So once these have gone onto the computer, uh, they'll be in your downloads folder. Uh, that's this one over here. Now I need to make this clear. I am not a Mac user. I'm actually running this in a VM um, session. Uh, so up until yesterday, I had never touched a Mac in 15 years. Uh, so it's all a bit new to me, but uh, look, bear with me. I'm probably going to make a few little mistakes in you know, trying to find folders, uh, but we'll do our best. So I've downloaded this one here, uh, a library for the Air Instrument, uh, the riser. Um, it's in a zip format in my downloads folder. All I need to do is first extract those files uh, so that I can start copying them. So just double clicking that. Now opening the actual downloaded folder, we can see that there are two folders here and we've also got a PDF installation guide. So very recommended to open that PDF guide. It's got a lot of useful information about the, um, and this is also available directly off the website as a, um, as a, you know, a readme straight off the product page. Always worth uh, reading it because it actually tells you um, specifically what versions it works with, what versions are complete and machine it's been tested with. Uh, also, what version of the plugin is required as well. So there are some, I mean, Omnisphere comes to mind. They've just had some big updates, some new updates again. Uh, the NKS files have been updated as they go through and sometimes aren't backwards compatible. So free versions are available specifically for this reason. Download them, test them, and ask me any questions. Uh, what we're concerned about is the database files and the preset files. So there's two different installations that we need to do. So let's look at the preset files first. Now, the preset files are your NKS files and your sound files directly. Inside there, there will typically just be a single folder that has all of your NKS files in it. So uh, they might be subdivided into additional uh, libraries and things like that inside. But what we want to do is copy this entire folder here. Um, so the riser, depending on what NKS library you've downloaded, you'll find it's named based on the instrument. Uh, the name of this folder doesn't actually matter. You can rename it. You can move the files around however you like. Obviously, it's recommended to keep it you know, as, as it is. Uh, but uh, what we want to do is just simply right click and copy that folder. Now, the preset files, simply copy to your user folder for native instruments, complete control and machine. Uh, now the uh, user content folder on the Mac is located in the documents location and then inside there you'll find native instruments and then user content. Quite simply, we just paste it in there and the installation of the sound preview files uh, is done. The second part is installing the database files. So the database files is where people tend to get a little bit, a uh, little bit confused and make mistakes. Uh, this is because of the way that the Mac OS system uh, tends to handle copying files, especially if a folder already exists in the target location. 
it can be possible to accidentally override that folder with what you're copying and essentially delete everything. So we don't want you doing that. I'm yeah, I have to answer a lot of questions about that. Uh, Windows users don't have that problem because it's handled uh, a little bit more intelligently. Uh, but um, just a few things to be aware of. So first of all, in the database files folder, we have two subfolders. We've got a dist database folder and we've got an image folder. So the disk database folder is what creates the actual database entries in the um, software, in the complete control machine software. Uh, that's what gives it the title that it's a, it's a synth or it's a piano or um, you know whatever it is. And it also gives it the back color as well. Um, so the backing color of the actual titles and things like that. Uh, that's basically all it is. So if you install your files and you find that your instruments are coming up under the other category, then it's not reading the disk database files. The image folder is, as it would suggest, is the image artwork for the actual plugin. Now inside the image folder, there are actually two subfolders. There's one which has the vendor name, and these are very important folders um, for the fact that you cannot rename these folders. They've, they have to remain at these particular uh, names for them to actually work with the NKS files. And that's been curated specifically um, by me when they've been created. So just leave the folder structure and everything as it is. What you want to do is simply copy everything in this image folder to the location. Now, where is this location? Uh, the location is actually, what I'll do is actually close this down so I can show you exactly how to get there. So these need to go into a uh, native instru instruments resource folder. Now that folder is located on the computer. So if we go down to computer uh, and then it's under the uh, users folder in shared and then inside the shared folder find the NI resources folder and then inside here you'll find, if I open that up like so users shared and then of course you'll probably have another number of other folders you want to find NI resources and then inside there we have the folders in question so I'll flick it back to this so what we want to do is copy the folders to this subfolder now the first time that you do this so if you've never installed NKS files before manually, uh, what you might find is that there isn't actually a folder called disk database in this location. Uh, that's perfectly fine. What we want to do is just simply copy the disk database folder and paste it over here. Job done. Now, if you happen to have a disk database folder here, if I try and copy this folder and paste it over here, I'll get a dialog box that actually says, do I want to replace or do I want to cancel this copy? Now, if you click replace, what that's going to do is replace this folder with the folder that you've just copied, uh, which basically means that it's going to delete everything else that was inside there. So if I had other files that were in here, other installations, it would have deleted all of those and just installed these. That's what we don't want to happen. So for Mac users, what you really need to do is if you've already got this established and you want to add a new installation, you need to make sure that you open up your subdirectories, copy these subdirectories, copy those, and then inside the disk database folder, you want to paste those two items in there. So you can also just grab and drag them as well. Uh, the exact same thing goes for the image folder and this one is the very important one because if we open up the image folder as it stands, so this is a default installation of complete control, there is absolutely nothing installed, uh, but uh, it already pre-installs all of the artwork. So inside all of these folders is all the artwork for all of the uh, Native Instruments plugins. Uh, now just to give you a bit of a, um, a demonstration, if I... So first of all, if I try and copy this, it's probably going to allow me to merge the files because the subfolders within the image folder don't actually exist. I haven't actually installed these yet. So if I grab this, um, no, it's actually not even giving me the option to merge, uh, which is strange because in some other tests, it actually has given me this option. It's just a very strange way of doing things. Uh, but if I click replace, which is what a lot of people do, you'll see here that uh, I've actually just deleted everything and there's no undo. Uh, so don't go and do that. What you want to do is open up the image folder and then on the downloaded files you want to open up the um, image folder in here 
uh, you can see I've actually just dragged it straight across and it's, um, yeah, it's moved it. But what you wanted to do is grab those subfolders and copy it into the image folder. Don't go and replace it like I just did there. Uh, that's why I've got a little backup here because I've been testing exactly how this works. Uh, I would also make the same recommendation to anyone that's unsure. Just simply zip this folder up before you start making any changes. You can right click, compress, and hey presto, you've now got a backup. So do that and uh, yeah, take some care when you do these types of things. Uh, but these are actually installed. I don't care that I've just deleted all the other images um, reference for native instruments because I'm not, not really concerned about that. This is just a VMware. What we now need to do is all the installation is done. We just need to get it to pop up in complete control. So in complete control here, we've got a, um, a completely default library. So you'll actually see that I've got nothing in my factory library either because I haven't actually bothered to install any of that. Uh, we're gonna be working in the user library. So there is no way currently to import these into the factory library, or I'll say that there is a way, but it's not an easy way. And it's hard enough for people to install these. I don't wanna guide people through installing manual plist files and all that kind of stuff for Mac. Uh, so all of your uh, NKS files that you download for third parties will appear in your user library. So the first thing we need to do is scan in the user files. So that is done by going into the file, uh, sorry, the um, edit preferences, uh, go down to library, go to your user library. Uh, now by default, it should already have the user content folder from the documents folder added into the software. When you do a scan, so we'll do a scan now. If you don't see it popping up and scanning in files like that, then it's not detecting the files. So either you've copied it to the wrong spot or the location is incorrect in the software. Uh, remember, we're in the user library, not the factory library. Uh, so what you need to do is if it hasn't scanned it in, you don't see anything popping up here already, just check this folder location is the correct one and that it's, you know, it, it's been added by default when it's been installed. But for whatever reason, if you need to, you can actually add additional locations. So if you wanna put your NKS files in a different location, you can certainly do that. Just add the path and do your scan. So once it's scanned, you'll have all of your files imported. And if you then click on the All Instruments tab, you should now see that we've actually got a plugin loaded. Now you can actually see it's popped up under the other category. Uh, that's because the software was actually running when I imported the database files. So it hasn't actually loaded and created a database. So if I quickly just exit this, just to show that this is, so that's, that's what will happen if uh, it's not detecting the database files. And then you can see everything else seems to work, all of the uh, images, but it just comes up under other. So if I just quit this, and this is where it's probably gonna make a liar of me. So we'll just quit the software and then what we'll do is we'll go back into applications and load up complete control again. And now you can see that it's popped up under synthesizers, which is the category that, uh, that is in the uh, database files. So all of that is working. I can now load my instrument. I should have uh, artwork and everything displayed. Uh, depending on the um, instrument, you'll have your browsable banks, sub banks and things like that. Uh, and then we've got all of our preset files listed here, which we should also be able to hear uh, sound previews as we cycle through. Uh, the next problem people have is I then go and try and load a sound, a plugin not found. So this is quite a common one, plugin not found. It, it, it's exactly as it's saying. It means complete control cannot find the plugin that these files need. So it'd be the same as having a Word document and not having Word on the computer for it to open. The computer doesn't know what to do with it. So complete control doesn't know how to load this because the plugin isn't in the software. Now, how do we know this? Uh, if we go to the uh, little menu here and then go down. You can see I haven't got any instruments or any effects here. Uh, now that's because I haven't bothered to um, scan in or add any of my plugin folders. So again, if I go into preferences and go down to plugins, now I wanna to go to the locations tab. Now in the locations tab, your system should already have the default locations of your VST folders from when Complete Control installed itself. Um, if 
you happen to have installed things to a different location or the uh, it doesn't scan it in, just double check uh, that your plugin folders are actually listed here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the VST folder. So where is the VST folder? Uh, on the Mac, as far as I know, as far as I've been able to find, it's under Mac here, the, the drive, go into the uh, applications folder. Nope, we don't want to do that. Sorry, it's uh, under Mac, and then it's under library, and then it's under audio, plugins, and then VST. And you can see there that we've got the VST plugins that are currently installed. I've just got the one that um, I've manually installed just for demonstration. So I'm gonna choose that location, rescan, and you can see that it's just rescanned and imported that plugin. So basically, if it comes up with plugin not found, what you wanna do is go into your plugins section here and make sure that the plugin is actually listed and is available to complete control. Uh, because if it's not listed in here, it's not going to work, and that is something that you need to figure out on your own uh, why the plugin is not actually um, being loaded by complete control. But as long as that is enabled and we've got our NKS files, we should be able to load up. Hey presto, there we go. And from there, we then have all of our maps controls and everything else. So that should be pretty much everything that's needed to know to install it. It's not that hard. Once you've done it once or twice, uh, it becomes very, very simple from there on in. Uh, so I hope this was very useful for you. Uh, I hope this actually prevents me having to answer the same questions over and over and over again. Uh, and uh, yeah, by all means, if you do have any issues, any suggestions, uh, there's some plugins out there that you would love to see NKS compatible, then by all means, just get in contact with me through my website uh, and we'll see what we can do. Cheers. Thanks, guys.